It's likely a gas giant almost as big as its nearest planetary neighbor, Neptune. For billions of years, it's been hiding at the edge of our solar system, a massive world lurking in the darkness, invisible to human eyes. Until now. NASA's quantum AI may have just flagged something extraordinary in James Webb's data, a faint moving signal that could be the long-suspected Planet Nine. Hidden far beyond Neptune, this mysterious world might finally be stepping out of the shadows. Think about it. Our solar system map could be completely wrong. The textbooks you grew up with might need to be rewritten. The most powerful space telescope ever built, combined with cutting-edge quantum computing technology, may have found what generations of astronomers couldn't. Could the most advanced telescope ever built, working together with a quantum-powered AI, have uncovered a new planet in our solar system? A world potentially 10 times Earth's mass that's been influencing the orbits of distant objects for centuries? Before we reveal the strange signal buried in Webb's images, let's ask, how do you even teach an AI to hunt for a ghost planet? The answer will change how we search for everything in space. Rumors are swirling through the astronomy community. Reports suggest NASA's advanced AI systems have been quietly scanning through James Webb's massive data archives. And they may have found something extraordinary, a faint, slow-moving point of light that doesn't match any known object. This isn't just any AI. We're talking about quantum-enhanced artificial intelligence. Think of it like millions of coin flips happening at once. But instead of chaos, the system locks onto the rare pattern we're hunting for. It can process countless possibilities simultaneously, finding needles in cosmic haystacks. And Webb's data is the ultimate haystack. Each time the telescope takes an image, it captures billions of pixels in infrared light. Thousands of these images now exist in NASA's archives. No human team could possibly analyze every pixel, looking for something as faint as a distant planet. Imagine trying to spot a single firefly in a stadium full of headlights. That's what astronomers are up against. But unlike human eyes, AI doesn't blink, doesn't get tired, and, in this case, can call in quantum computing to crunch through patterns we'd never find ourselves. The AI was trained to recognize extremely subtle movement against the fixed background of stars. A real planet would shift position ever so slightly between Webb's observations taken months apart. That's exactly what the algorithm flagged a dim, infrared signature slowly drifting through space. If you're fascinated by how AI and Webb are rewriting astronomy, hit that subscribe button, because the next discovery might drop any day. The infrared candidate. While NASA's AI hunts through Webb's modern data, a team led by astronomer Terry Long Fan at Taiwan's National Tsinghua University made a breakthrough using old-school detective work. They compared ancient infrared sky surveys, looking for anything that moved between them. This approach is ingenious. They examined images from NASA's IRAS satellite taken in 1983 and compared them with JAXA's Akari Infrared Telescope from 2006. When astronomers compared images taken 23 years apart, they noticed something shift. Exactly what a planet 700 astronomical units away would do. In the 1983 HRAS image, a faint red dot appears in one position. By 2006, in Akari's view, that dot vanished. But roughly 47 arc minutes away, about the width of the moon in our sky, another dot appeared where nothing had been before. The math checks out perfectly. An object orbiting 700 times farther from the sun than Earth would move exactly that distance across the sky in 23 years. But here's what's truly shocking. Based on its infrared brightness, this isn't just some small, rocky world. Scientists estimate it could be more massive than Neptune. Previous surveys had already ruled out anything Jupiter-sized in our outer solar system. But a Neptune-class world could have remained hidden. But here's the twist. This candidate doesn't behave quite like scientists expected Planet Nine to. Its orbit looks tilted, maybe even retrograde. So if it isn't Planet Nine, then what is it? Could we have found something even stranger lurking at the edges of our solar system? How JWST fits in? This is where the James Webb Space Telescope enters our cosmic detective story. Webb isn't just another telescope. It's the most powerful infrared observatory ever built, and that makes it perfect for hunting extremely cold, distant worlds.
A planet lurking hundreds of times farther from the Sun than Earth would be incredibly frigid, perhaps just 30 to 50 Kelvin, or about minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. At these temperatures, planets don't shine in visible light, but they do emit a faint infrared glow that Webb's instruments can detect. Webb has already proven its capabilities in the outer solar system. It's captured unprecedented images of Neptune's delicate rings and distant moons. It's observed dwarf planets like Sedna and Quawar, revealing frozen hydrocarbons on their surfaces. So, why not Planet 9? While Webb can't scan the entire sky like a survey telescope, it excels at something else, zooming in for detailed looks at specific targets. If astronomers narrow down the location of FAN's infrared candidate, Webb could stare at those coordinates and potentially see the planet directly. There's another intriguing possibility. Webb has already taken thousands of deep space images for various science projects. What if Planet 9 accidentally photobombed one of these images? Professional astronomers and citizen scientists have started combing through Webb's archival data, looking for any slow-moving dot that might be hiding in plain sight. Here's a question for you. If a distant world the size of Neptune really is hiding out there, do you think it could have moons, or maybe even rings? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'll reveal what scientists are saying about that in just a moment. And if Webb does confirm this candidate, what comes next could change how we see our solar system forever. The discovery wouldn't just add a ninth planet, it would open a window into the violent early days of our solar system, when planets were tossed around like cosmic billiard balls. What Planet Nine could really be? If we're really on the verge of confirming Planet Nine, the question becomes, what exactly are we looking at? Scientists have developed several fascinating theories about its true nature and origin. The leading scenario suggests it could be a primordial ice giant, similar to Uranus or Neptune, that formed alongside the other planets in our solar system's youth. But during the chaotic early days when planets were still settling into their orbits, this world had a close encounter with Jupiter or Saturn. The gravitational slingshot would have hurled it outward to the frigid edges of our system, where it's been lurking ever since. Another possibility is even more exotic. Planet Nine might be a captured rogue planet, a wandering world that formed around another star before being ejected into interstellar space. As it drifted near our young solar system, the sun's gravity could have captured it, making it an adopted member of our planetary family. This wouldn't just be another planet, it would be a survivor, a relic, or maybe even an interstellar visitor now bound to our sun. And its composition would tell us which story is true. At five to 10 times Earth's mass, Planet Nine would be massive enough to hold onto an atmosphere, even in the outer solar system. But at temperatures below negative 400 degrees Fahrenheit, that atmosphere would be unlike anything we're familiar with. Methane and nitrogen might exist as glittering frosts that occasionally sublimate into thin air when the planet inches relatively closer to the sun in its elongated orbit. Most intriguing of all, this distant world might host a system of moons. Given its size and mass, it could have several frozen satellites orbiting around it, each a tiny ice world in its own right. Picture it, a cold blue world with dim sunlight, surrounded by frozen moons. Orbiting so far out, it would take a spacecraft centuries to reach. It sounds like science fiction, but this is a very real possibility scientists are preparing for. If confirmed, Planet Nine would represent a missing link in our understanding of planetary systems. While astronomers have discovered thousands of super-Earths and mini-Neptunes around other stars, our own solar system seemed to lack this common planet type, until now. The tech behind the hunt. While astronomers scan the skies, a technological revolution is happening behind the scenes that could crack this cosmic mystery. NASA's Quantum Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, known as QUAIL, represents the cutting edge of space data analysis. Based at NASA's Ames Research Center, QUAIL is the space agency's hub for quantum computing research. Their mission? Determine how quantum computers can solve problems that would overwhelm even our most powerful supercomputers. Traditional computers process information in bits, ones and zeros, but quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, that can represent multiple states simultaneously. This allows them to explore countless possibilities in parallel, rather than one at a time. 
It's like upgrading from a magnifying glass to a supercomputer that can search every library on Earth in seconds. When searching for a faint, moving dot among billions of stars, this quantum advantage could make all the difference. The approach has already proven successful in similar astronomical hunts. Machine learning algorithms sifting through NASA's Kepler Space Telescope data discovered exoplanets that human scientists missed. By recognizing subtle patterns in star brightness, AI identified worlds that would have remained hidden otherwise. As astronomer Andrew Vanderberg noted, machine learning definitely could help the search for Planet Nine, and likely already is. These algorithms excel at spotting the proverbial needle in the haystack. And Planet Nine is the ultimate cosmic needle. When researchers combine quantum computing with AI, they create a powerful tool that can rapidly analyze vast datasets for subtle patterns. The system could examine countless potential orbits and movements across years of observations, identifying candidates that would be impossible to find manually. This is why many believe Webb's data, combined with quantum AI, may have already flagged the most elusive planet of all. The technology stack now available to astronomers is unprecedented in human history, and it's changing how we explore our cosmic neighborhood. But this story doesn't end with Webb. Another telescope, still being built, could settle the Planet Nine debate once and for all. Even as Webb and quantum AI hunt for Planet Nine, a new astronomical powerhouse is about to join the search, one that could deliver the definitive answer we've been waiting for. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory, scheduled to begin operations in 2025, represents the next quantum leap in our planet hunting capabilities. Currently under construction in Chile, this observatory will house the largest digital camera ever built, a 3.2 gigapixel monster that can capture an area of sky 40 times the size of the full moon in a single shot. What makes Rubin perfect for the Planet Nine hunt is its survey strategy. The telescope will scan the entire visible sky every few nights for years, creating what astronomers call the legacy survey of space and time. This repeated imaging is exactly what you need to catch a slow moving planet in the act. Every pair of images will be automatically compared flagging anything that shifts position against the background stars. With its unprecedented depth and coverage, Rubin could either spot Planet Nine directly or definitively rule out its existence by finding no evidence of the orbital clustering that first suggested its presence. As one science writer put it, if Planet Nine exists, it is running out of places to hide. The sheer volume of data from Rubin will be staggering, about 20 terabytes every night no team of astronomers could possibly analyze it all. That's where the powerful combination of citizen science and artificial intelligence comes in. And this is where you come in. Believe it or not, volunteers have already helped AI find new worlds in our solar system. Imagine being part of the discovery of Planet Nine, the first new planet since Neptune. Projects like Backyard Worlds Planet Nine have already shown how effective this collaboration can be. Volunteers spot candidates that computers might miss, while AI algorithms sift through billions of data points no human could check. Together, they form a discovery engine more powerful than either alone. Within this decade, the question that has tantalized astronomers since 2016 will likely be answered. Is there a ninth planet lurking in the darkness? The countdown to discovery has begun. Now that we've explored the cutting-edge search, let's quickly cover how we got here the history behind this cosmic detective story. The modern hunt for Planet Nine began in 2016 when two Caltech researchers, Konstantin Batagin and Mike Brown, published a groundbreaking paper. Brown, interestingly, was the same astronomer whose discoveries helped lead to Pluto's reclassification from planet to dwarf planet in 2006. Their investigation started with something strange happening at the edge of our solar system. In the distant Kuiper Belt, the region beyond Neptune filled with icy bodies, astronomers noticed something that defied explanation. Several of these extreme trans-Neptunian objects, including a dwarf planet called Sedna, had clustered orbits. They all swung around the sun at similar angles and seemed to be herded into one region of space. The odds of this happening by chance were incredibly slim. Batigen and Brown ran computer simulations and found that a massive planet could explain this orbital shepherding. Their calculations suggested a world five to 10 times Earth's mass. 
orbiting hundreds of times farther from the Sun than our planet does. Unlike Pluto, which is too small to gravitationally dominate its orbit, Planet 9 would be massive enough to qualify as a true planet. It would have cleared its orbital path of other bodies. One of the key requirements that Pluto failed to meet, the planet would take between 10,000 and 20,000 years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. This extreme distance explains why we haven't spotted it yet. At such range, even a Neptune-sized world would appear incredibly faint. As Mike Brown himself said, if the clustering is there, Planet 9 is there. The challenge wasn't proving it theoretically, but finding it physically. A challenge that modern technology might finally be meeting. We stand at a pivotal moment in the centuries-long quest to map our cosmic neighborhood. The journey that began with Galileo's telescope has led us to the most sophisticated tools humanity has ever created. The James Webb Space Telescope and Quantum Artificial Intelligence. For centuries, humans have searched for hidden worlds. Now, with James Webb's infrared eyes and quantum-powered AI brains, we may be closer than ever. Whether it's Planet Nine, a rogue giant, or something stranger, one thing is certain. Our solar system still holds secrets waiting to be uncovered. If confirmed, this discovery would be historic. The first major planet found in our solar system since Neptune in 1846. It would fundamentally change our understanding of our cosmic home and potentially reveal new insights about how planetary systems form and evolve. Think about what this means. The map of our solar system, the one we've all grown up with, may be incomplete. There could be an entire world out there, perhaps 10 times more massive than Earth, that has influenced the architecture of our system for billions of years while remaining hidden from view. And unlike distant exoplanets that we can only study from afar, Planet Nine would be in our own backyard, close enough to eventually visit with advanced spacecraft. Future generations might launch missions to explore this mysterious world and any moons it might harbor. We live in an extraordinary time when technology is finally catching up to our oldest questions. The answers may already be hiding in Webb's data, waiting for AI to uncover them. Or perhaps the Rubin Observatory will deliver the breakthrough within the next few years. When that discovery is confirmed, you'll want to be here to witness it. So hit subscribe and stay with us on the journey to the edge of the solar system. Because the greatest discoveries aren't just in our past, they're waiting in our future.